If I'm going to buy a wig, I'm not going to buy a wig of the hair I already have. Hi and welcome to my channel. This is the first video of 2022 and I wanted to start off the year light-hearted, you know, with just a little bit of fun and joy and happiness just to kick off the new year. So this video is not going to be a very serious topic. It's just going to be me talking about some popular opinions, especially in Nigeria, that I personally disagree with or have a beef with. So let's just sit back and enjoy and laugh because it's meant to be funny and lighthearted. First one, I guess, is this belief that people have that they owe people nothing. I don't believe that's true because I feel like that's a cop out that people give when they don't want to take responsibility for their actions or when they don't want to take personal responsibility in like a situation or like own up to the consequences of their actions or what they've done. First of all, you owe people respect, you owe them reciprocation. If somebody helps you out, I personally believe that you should also in turn help out the person if they need it. You can't just be like, okay, you did this of your own free will or you did this by yourself. I didn't ask you. And so like, I owe you nothing because you did this for me or you did that for me or because you are this person to me. Sorry, like life does not work that way. This one in particular is directed mostly at girls. That the person you are dating has to like bamboo your entire lifestyle. I feel like nowadays that seems to be this popular idea that okay, if I'm dating somebody, my whole lifestyle, my clothes, my hair, my shoes, basically the person has to take care of all my bills, all my responsibilities. And it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be based on I like this person, so I'm going out with this person. No, it was supposed to be on the hunt for the richest person or like the next maga that you will scam into paying for these expensive things that you personally cannot afford. Or you feel like, okay, if I date this person, this person will be able to buy so and so and so for me that I need. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I feel like due to that a lot of relationships are not going more than skin deep and so a lot of issues are not being like found out until this is way 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 too late a lot of people are staying in uncomfortable situations or abusive situations because they feel like the person is giving them something that they cannot afford otherwise this one is just going to be pretty short I disagree with the fact that flirting is harmless when you are dating another person. I feel like, okay, if you're in a relationship, that's it. Doesn't mean you can't find somebody else attractive. No, you you still have eyes. But I feel like flirting with other people while you are in a relationship, like a structured relationship and yes you guys have agreed you guys know you know like okay if you're just starting out no you guys are committed exactly a committed relationship flirting with somebody else or like you're basically leading that person on making them think that you are willing to give more than you actually are willing to give not everything is supposed to be inclusive i don't think people get that see lots of things are being ruined i guess because they feel like they're trying to cater to every single audience at the same time and that's one thing people don't seem to get not everything is meant for everybody and that's just the bitter truth not everything is meant to be palatable to maybe women not everything is meant to be palatable to men not every single thing in life has to be inclusive to everybody a particular thing can just be for a targeted audience only like, if you are not comfortable with it, or if it doesn't vibe with you, you can move on. You don't have to go and change that. As long as it's not something harmful, like, apart from situations like that, no. If it's like, maybe a TV show, for example. If it's not something that you feel like is made for you, because TV shows, for instance, have, like, particular demographic that they are targeting. Made to the children, to the men, to the women. 
just because you stumble upon it and it's not meant for you doesn't mean you get to like be offended sometimes or like try to change it there is no harm in just moving on with your life it's not by force i feel like woke culture is ruining a lot of things why see the tendency now that people have to tiptoe around every single issue because they don't want to get cancelled or because they don't want to get blasted online is actually leading to a lot more cover up of things that people think because people won't give you their honest opinion because they feel like they will get castigated for giving that opinion so they tend to hide more or people won't expose things or say what they really think about the situation especially if it's a bad situation because they feel like okay they don't want to get villainized by the whole internet so i feel like most of the times it's really doing more harm than good this one in particular is specific to black people and it also ties into work culture see i have falsy hair i have extremely coily falsy hair that sometimes just does not want to do what i want it to do there's this tendency among like hair influencers the black hair influencers to really villainize people that say oh they wish they didn't have fussy hair that they wish they had like more easily managed hair or those that have like mixed mixed people that have like loser curls or loser textures being grateful that they don't have like more like they don't have kinkier hair and then everybody is pretending as if having fussy hair is the greatest gift it is not okay let's just be real with ourselves every single one of us at one particular point has prayed we had more easily managed hair and trust me if i had like basic straight hair that i didn't have to get like for me relaxer i could just buy cheaper brands of products and use them on my hair without being worried that it will irritate my hair in one way or the other i didn't have to follow like special routines to take care of my hair okay so you no know, everybody should stop lying to themselves and try like try to prove holier than thou that okay well, because you have this hair it means you have to um behave a certain way or act a certain way another thing is concerning wigs and being like okay because you have like kinkier hair it means you have to buy kinkier wigs if i'm going to buy a wig i'm being honest and it's not just being like being biased because i saw wigs if i'm going to buy a wig i'm not going to buy a wig of the hair i already have if i want to wear my hair i would wear my hair if i'm going to buy a wig it would be something that is different from what i already have naturally i don't see the point of spending money on a wig just to buy something similar to the hair i already have that's a waste of money why not just wear my hair then another one is like thinking that everybody that doesn't agree with your lifestyle choices is a hater the truth of the matter is sometimes people make bad choices they do make bad choices everybody knows the choices they are making are bad but it doesn't mean that when you are doing something and i feel like okay what you're doing is nonsense me telling you that dude doing so and so and so isn't really like cool doesn't mean i hate you because i feel like okay people nowadays think okay they need to just they should just do whatever they want and if you are their friend you never get to tell them that they are wrong about anything just have to agree and go along with whatever they say because you are your friend that's not how friendship works real friendship if like now there's something that nigerians always say a real friend will tell you when your mouth is smelling that is how friendship is supposed to be a friend is supposed to be the one that will be the realest with you like you are doing nonsense they will tell you and call you out and tell you directly dude girl you are doing nonsense your friend anybody that agrees with you 24 7 and always agrees with every single choice or decision you make that person is not your friend because there's no way any human being can be right about like their lifestyle choices all the time it's a basic niche of a human being you will make mistakes in your life it's normal and that's just the truth and you have if you have any single person in your life telling you all the time that you are right you're right you're right you're right you're right, you're right. 
I'm sorry to tell you this, but that person is not really your friend. The last one is just like light-hearted and just for fun. Strawberry is not sweet. Strawberries are not sweet. Strawberries are not sweet. All you people that enjoy them or that you eat them and you make like mm -hmm faces, you are lying to yourselves. You have been deceived by TV. Strawberries are not sweet. And that's the end of today's video. It was just like a little light-hearted like introduction to the new year. So look forward to more for me for this year. I have like a lot of content I'm excited to post this year. So I'm looking forward to that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Of course, tell me other popular like ideas and opinions that you personally disagree with or you think are wrong. Even tell me the ones you agree with too. Bye.